Okay, so uh, I'm going to go over uh, the proper procedure for doing a disk replacement for FreeNAS 910. Uh, so you can see here in the right hand corner uh, we have a critical. So when you click on that, uh, gives you uh, information about the system. So it looks like ADA7 is having some unreadable sectors. So we're going to get a disk to replace it. But before we do that, we need to figure out uh, what the disk is and uh, how big it is. So to do that, we go into storage. You see here we have our uh, volume called V. And right here we have the volume status. So we can see here ADA7 is part of this RAID Z1, which is a one disk redundancy uh, for res resiliency. So if we lose another disk in this RAID set, our whole RAID setup is, uh, our whole ZFS setup is uh, pooched. Uh, and that is totally acceptable uh, for this type of system. Uh, for what it is. This is a tertiary backup. Uh, so it is not required to have uh, a two disk redundancy. So what we want to do now is go into storage and view disk and we'll find out what ADA7 is. So ADA7 Looks like it's a Seagate and it's a 500 gigabyte drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a another 500 gigabyte or a bigger drive and replace uh, this drive in the uh, Z rate set. Okay, so we have a replacement drive. Uh, what we need to do before we install the drive is we need to offline and replace this drive. Here we are. Uh, view volumes. Select the volume. Get the volume status. Find the disk in question, in this case ADA7. We want to offline the disk. So the disk is now offline. The Z volume is showing as degraded. And since we have uh, proper documentation, for that, we know the serial number of the disk that we need to replace. Okay, so we shut down our system and we've replaced the drive. So you can see here, it's in a degraded state still. Go into our volume status. And now we've selected it. We want to replace. And we can see our new member disk. And we got an error saying that uh, this drive was used uh, previously. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to storage. Uh, Volume Manager, uh, want to view the disk, we can see here, here's our new uh, serial number, so we make sure to update our documentation. So 
So we're just going to wipe this. We're just going to do a quick wipe because the disk has been verified as good. Okay, disk has been wiped. Storage. Volume status. And we'll replace the disk. And you can see now we have no error. Take a minute to replace the disk. There we go. And you can see now it says resilver is in progress. It's going to recheck the data, spread it across the rest of the drives, and we'll be good to go. So. And once the resilver process completes, our critical light will go from red to green. Now here it's pretty important not to interrupt the resilver process. So, uh, yeah, this shouldn't take too long, but uh, yeah, you wouldn't want the power to go out or anything like that. I would put your data in uh, Jeopardy. Anyway, that's how you replace a disk in FreeNAS.